G'day guys. Got a new toy. Well, not really. Well, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> um, this is... I'm going to get the microphone and move it right here. Because uh, it might be a little bit weak in the detectors. Screaming off. I got this on eBay. It's a 10 megahertz handheld oscilloscope. And there's a 1 megahertz one and a 10 megahertz one. They look exactly the same. So don't make the mistake. And there's about $30 difference. This one was 100 bucks, 100 Australian pesos. Um, yeah. So 70 US or something, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a multimeter, but it has um, a oscilloscope built in. And uh, it the specifications um, on paper looked okay. But yeah, it doesn't like uh, mixed signals such as picking up um, uh, flyback uh, transitions, um, receive uh, windows and uh, the power supply whizzing away there. But you can see it. It's quite good on a power supply. What I did is um, it's got hold and save. You do that and, uh, you know, that's probably on a mixed signal sort of thing. It's going to get something like this is going to have a hard time locking. Uh, to that maybe it does it's got a variable trigger i haven't read the instructions yet so i'm just playing with it and uh but you know you get something complex like that and uh you can't uh, lock to it we just do that and you can you can then uh, measure everything out so you know we can um you know stretch it out and ha have a look and move it and um you know whatever so yeah it does work it's actually put itself up on 100 millivolts. I wouldn't have it that high. I'd get it uh, a little bit um, uh, lower than that. So, yeah, it's, um, yeah, I'll put it up on 20, but it's uh, going off range. So the thing is for this, um, and then you go in here, you can move it up and down. Oops, try, try that. You hit F2, move, and then... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. I've got to watch the little uh, pointer there. Told you I haven't read the instructions. So yeah, you, you move it down there. And uh, yeah, sample and hold. It's a little bit, uh, um, you know, getting used to. But it's quite substantial. It has rechargeable batteries inside it. It comes with, um, doesn't come with this probe. It's got a, well, how about... Uh, I just do that and turn it off. I think that turns it off, doesn't it? I hope so. There we go. That turns it off. I'll turn turn this off. This is just a standard. Another 5,000 has come in. And as you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, it's uh, fairly noisy just sitting there. It's just factory default. Noisy. They're all noisy, these things. So... Just reset it. No, it's a bit better that time. But, uh, yeah, she's um, must have been on a really nasty frequency or something. But, yeah, these, um, these I think uh, if you're going to poke around inside the detectors and you haven't got a proper oscilloscope, you might be able to muck around one of these. You could probably just make a coupling loop and use it to look at your transmit waveform uh, near the coil. Use it to see if the uh, coil is working. So, it comes with a little zip bag and uh, something there with uh, a springy something. Oh, it's a temperature probe. So yeah, it's got a temperature probe. Oh, it has those stabby leads that uh, I'm using anyway um, on the other meter. So they're quite good. They're very fine points. And uh, yeah, you can stab into things. Um, oh, and here we go. Comes with that um, oscilloscope probe and uh, little attachments and things there. So 
60 mega it comes with a 60 megahertz probe and a 10 megahertz machine so yeah neat neat works charges off um uh type c which i'm using my own there's one in here comes with a type c cable usb to, to c usb what is it usb a so yeah i haven't given it a full run but uh, it it feels chunky it feels quite good and if you look at the specifications what does it say Oh, there's a, there's a 50 megahertz one of these available as well. Uh, I, d I never saw that. But 10 megahertz on these is fast enough. Uh, what have we got? Real-time sampling. Sensing rate. 48 mega samples per second. Interesting. It does say 48. Okay. Sixty four KPLS Killer Pulses, anyway, whatever uh, Chinese or English two point eight inch IPS color screen auto does auto ranging DC current to ten amps, AC current to ten amps. DC voltage to a thousand volts if you want to trust it. Um, AC voltage, of course. Uh, please, please do. Uh, well, seven hundred and fifty. You know, one point four one four probably equals a thousand. Resistance hundred million ohms. Or it does capacitance. Does it? Well, we wouldn't. I don't care how big it does. I want to see how little it does. But uh, according to this, um, one hundred microfarads. Uh, it has a frequency generator, one megahertz. Continuity, uh, check out, and it does temperature, 20, minus 20 to 1,000 Celsius. So, yeah. Oh, it's also got this um, single generator function, which is interesting how they do it. I'll just take that off, because that actually goes on my, my oscilloscope. Now... I probably wish now I never put it on there. It's probably meant to have the. Uh... Oh, there we go. I had to push down hard on that to get it off. But in here, in here, you need sharp fingernails for that. There we go. Pull that. Mine's against something. Yep. Is it um big? tag in here i don't know if you can see it it's a big one a little one and you put your oscilloscope on there in reverse so if i actually pull this off i'll turn that off if i actually uh did this this is how you use it as a signal generator i haven't tested it but i i know i've seen these before you put your uh, oscilloscope probe there and you you put your earth there like that and uh, you can uh, now utilize this hang on we'll just stick it in the, in the oscilloscope and see how it goes um yeah why not so it comes up digital oscilloscope comes up the thing mode okay oh hang on we probably need to do I should have I should have read the damn instructions, but uh, it, it's going to try and uh, amps ohms voltage. Hang on a second. It just started to rain. No. Um. It says mode. Mode and it's got oh hang on, that's the oscilloscope. How do we get onto the um, other part? Oh, it measures frequency too. It measures volts, 
it gives you some actual readouts which I never bothered looking at. Um, menu. Maybe it's in a menu. Coupling, uh, ACDC, TR mode, trig. I've got no idea. Uh, oh, there we go. Language English. Auto off, cancel, backlight 30%. Storage, reset. Um, <laughs> okay. I have absolutely no idea how you make this into into the signal generator. I don't know. Move. Trigger. DC. It's not, not those. Um, mode. Mode. Okay. What, what can I move that across? See, I don't know how to use it I, because I'm fiddling without using the instructions like I uh, always do. It's like when I get IKEA furniture, I put it together, then I read the instructions afterwards uh, just to make sure I did it correctly. <laughs> so, I don't know. But uh, uh, that's current. Milliamps, okay. It's got a lot of functions in it. I, just, I really need to read it. Um, yeah. Okay. No idea. No idea. Hold and save. No, I don't want to do that. But, uh, yeah, I... I um, Yeah, there you go. I have no idea. <laughs> so I'm going to have to read up on it, but it does. It does. It, uh, it says it's got a uh, frequency generator in it. So uh, not that you, well, you know, it just puts out a kilohertz or so. I don't know if it's adjustable or whatever. But um, yeah, for a hundred bucks, uh, it feels all right. Cat 2. There you go. So, um, it's a hard plastic. It's uh, not rubberized or anything like that. Has a nothing under there, but uh, you know a stand. So you want to work on it like so. Yep, goes in there. Clip. Made in China. Where else? Anyway, that's the um, B B side. Um. I wonder if they make the behind model, but that's a B side model. A Zulu Zulu Tango or a ZT, ZT or ZT, however, seven O two S. So, yeah, hundred bucks. You could probably get it cheaper. Uh, look, you probably. I got this. Uh, I'm delivered in two days, so it was obviously uh, local stock. That's why I bought it on eBay. Uh, it's probably on AliExpress and probably on Timu and all those places as well, except you've probably got to wait longer for it, and it might be cheaper. But just just be aware there is different models of this. I didn't realise. Um, yeah. Okay, this one says, it's funny on the box. Um, it says uh, three-in-one dual channel. No, it's not dual channel. It's a single channel. Um Ah, there's provision for another channel there. I wonder if it's just a matter of uh, putting a plug in there or something. I don't know. No, it will need a, need a uh, software jump for channels. But, uh, yeah, that's that. Anyway, I'm going to go and do a kid run, don't I? Because it's uh, quarter past. So I'll do that. And, uh, yeah, um, as far as I can uh, tell, it's... Uh, a good little a good little tool you know it'd be great for doing uh, digital work and stuff like that i would I, I, yeah hello yeah i wouldn't um use it uh uh for <laughs> low noise measurements or anything like that but it'll tell you if things are working uh, you can 
yeah, poke around, see what uh, a lot of things are going up and down when they're meant to. You can have a look and see, uh, you know, things functioning. You can measure crystals and oscillators and all the logic stuff in there. It's fast enough to do that easy. So, yeah, you can even, uh, you know, use it to uh, check the ripple coming out of your car alternator if you really wanted to. Uh, make sure that all the diodes are working. Um, all good. Anyway, that's enough of that. And uh, catches.